Once you get the sash, the crown, you're good to go. But no, 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 that's just the tip of the iceberg. And I, I, so I think much. over 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 the years, uh, okay. people are not just looking at it. <laughs> yeah, also paying attention to what is inside your head. Like you have to be the all-rounder. Exactly. We're not saying you don't need to look stunning. You have to. Image is a very important thing. Unfortunately, or fortunately, human beings are biologically engineered to like beautiful things. I'm sorry, we can't apologize, which is just who we are. <laughs> you get it. But at the same, in the same breath, or within the same capacity, we also need to understand that whoever we're booking as the winner is going to be representing brands, is going to be a spokesperson for a lot of people, will be an activist, will be an advocate for a lot of social issues. Basically, this person has been enthroned to change the world, to make a mark, to leave a legacy before she goes, and to empower women, not only her, but the generation to follow as well. So what, what we are um, doing this year is um, we'll have 16 girls. There are no evictions. 16. 16. 16. <laughs> Representing each region. <laughs> so there are no evictions this year. It's just, you know, challenges, right? So this will also really encourage the girls to give your best. Um, and would not call you Kashi, we call Miss Ghana. That's her. She, she was Miss Israel during my year. Oh. And I was like, man, I should have networked and you know, what did you not go or something? You know, like, there are all these girls that go on to become amazing individuals. Like Oprah Winfrey was in a pageant. She won Miss USA, was it? Or Miss Team USA? Well, it, was, it was one of the southern states. Right, so she, she was a beauty queen. And as I said, it opens up a lot of doors for you. And 
going to the international pageant is like going to a summit, you know, where you have all these countries that you are the president of these countries. Alan Berry. Right. Berry. So you're, you're networking, you're, you're trying to build your portfolio. There's so many things that happen in pageantry that we do not talk about, that we don't have an So that the issue, you know, because once we get the government aware of this, can you imagine if you were to host this to the here in this country? That's how we thought about that. That's that, 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 that's like doing 80, no, like 90% of your job. So, you know, so um, that's why we're here today. I know the love that you have for this country. And I feel the same way as well. I, I love God from day one. Being 18, 19, going to university, and walking into a traveling agency to buy a ticket to visit home. I want to see Ghana on the brochure. I want people to know this country, and this is the opportunity for us to do that. We're well, really excited about this year's competition, but at the same time, we always plan with a, you know, a plan B, just in case anything could happen, you know, because we are really in unprecedented times, and we don't want to uh, focus and use your energy and focus so much on one particular area. So we are trying to get all the T's crossed and the I's dotted to make sure that we, we do have the very successful year. So, so far, so good. What do I fight? <laughs> Kobe is the, the, the positive blogger, right? <laughs> he spreads positivity. No, but it's really good. It's, it's amazing because as, as much as um, drama and bad news sells, you know, we, we need to really try and put out all the positive things that are also happening in this country. And you're doing very good with that. All right. So uh, for me, I think uh -huh. uh, <laughs> uh, it's going to be brought all of us together. Because some people want to engage us via phone, you know, but I mean, it's always amazing to have that connection. For sure. Where, I mean, I appreciate the fact that you invited me here. To sit, I mean, to have that one-on-one -on -one conversation to also add. What I would suggest is, in going for this year, let's try and also build content around social media where you can have sort of a partnership like a blogger contestant kind of content running yeah so i know that okay so for example amaya is handling about three ladies let's they should create content online if there's going to be a challenge or anything so that at least there'll be several activities surrounding the girls online
So this year's competition, we are basically adopting the international pageant, so Miss Universe's um, process, and that is to not evict any contestants, but we are going through a series of challenges um, every week, and um, we are also promoting Ghana a lot in the sense that we are only working with made in Ghana products and services. So that's really important. And, and, um, we're excited to have this um, different type of competition this year. And then the um, not less than 18 years, um, not more than 20, um, and you need to be over 5 to 7. Um, you need to be eloquent, um, you need to have a high-speed degree. All that information is on our website, so just go to www.mugorg.com.
watching this universe pageant which is coming to you sometime soon you don't want to miss it stay tuned and stay tuned for updates continuously refresh your page and you're going to see all the updates when you need to see them how does it feel to be a queen it feels amazing but it feels like you know you're walking in your purpose you know it doesn't even feel like work so but most importantly you have to lead by example all the time and it's just amazing to inspire young children so that's really the long and short share, share, share your experience with us um, being a queen and someone is about to take the crown for me your reign share your experience with us my reign has definitely been a very long journey and it's been very impactful. I can honestly say that this has been the happiest year of my life. And to the next queen coming, whomever she is, I would need her to know that she has me on speed dial and I have her on speed dial if you need anything, if you need help, whatever, don't hesitate to call me. But know, know that we're all rooting for you. Okay, and uh, walk us through some of the activities you've done throughout the year. Some of the activities. activities yeah. So, mostly I've been focusing on my platform, which is autism, and eliminating the stigma that surrounds it in Ghana. I know it's difficult for me to do it alone, so if we just all pitch in and do a little bit here and there, we'll eventually get it accomplished. But I think I've created a very big impact so far, and you know, I have a great team and a great support system, so it's not too left. So you presented Ghana at Miss Universe. How was the feeling? It was amazing. It was very stressful, I won't lie to you. But honestly, if I could do it all over again, and if I could just tell my past self something, I would say that, you know what, soak it all in, relax, you've got this. And that's really what living in the moment is all about. You can't just go and take a milestone without soaking it all in. Not that I didn't soak it all in, but I, I, I'm just very grateful to have been afforded with the opportunity, mostly. So yeah. Um, you couldn't bring the crown I mean, The next person who presents Ghana at the next edition, what will you tell the person to do right so that she will bring the crown to Ghana? Absolutely. It depends on what her strengths and weaknesses are, ultimately. Um, what I would say is focus on the areas that you're weaker in. Like, let's say if you're a model and you're not as great as public speaking, focus on public speaking. And if you're great at public speaking and you're not necessarily a model, focus on your walk. Stuff like that. So you just have to e even yourself out to make yourself really well-rounded. So, yeah. Okay, finally, any advice to young ladies out there who are interested in being queens like you, being beauty queens like you? Um, I will say that, you know, you have an excellent role model. I had an excellent role model. My predecessors, um, Miss Monet and the Miss Whole Miss Universe organization has really, really, really helped push me into my purpose. So for that, I can never take that. For granted. All I would say is just focus on you, focus in the moment, and refine yourself, reinvent yourself. That's what I would say. Thank you. Thank you as well. Thank you. I'm a young. <laughs>